thought there might be some interest in uh, a, a, a video um, for technician class operators that perhaps feel that there's no place for them to be on the HF bands. Um, when I was a technician back in the uh, mid to late 90s, um, I almost did all of my amateur radio uh, work uh, with uh, CW. So I did 80 meter uh, and I did uh, some 40 meter and uh, also 15 meter. And I thought I'd just make a quick video and show um, just how busy the technician portion of the 15 meter band is. Privileges for technicians on 15 meters uh, span, and this is CW only, uh, from uh, 21.025 megahertz to 21.2 megahertz. Uh, the power output is limited to 200 watts. Um, the great thing about doing CW work is that uh, it's very efficient as far as power, power output goes. Uh, I'm a QRP operator. I work the world on five watts. Uh, I splurge sometimes with my uh, Allocraft KX3 and maybe go up to 10 watts. Um, <clears throat> you can do a lot um, with not so much power. Uh, my setup here, and I'm in an HOA environment right on the beach here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I have a 10 tennas uh, 49 to 1 Ballon. Uh, for and it's uh, for an N-fed half wave, and I have about a 22-foot wire coming off of this, and it goes as you can see here into the palm tree, uh, right outside of my window, and I can work uh, eight. I can work 18 megahertz, uh, which is a 17 meter band, which is for general uh, and above usage um, without a tuner and the 21 megahertz band or 15 meters, I can work with the tuner. And for these purposes, um, I uh, went ahead and um, recorded live uh, 15 meters in the uh, technician uh, CW allotment. Begins at 21.025 megahertz. You can see there's a lot of activity today. The bands are wide open. And I have it set in upper sideband, so you can hear it just a little bit better. There's, there's more bandwidth in upper sideband. I'm going to swap over here to CW mode soon. Don't be intimidated by the speed of um, the uh, CW operators here. Um, they're quite accommodating. If you are just getting into CW, you can go to slower weight and somebody should accommodate you. So I'm going to um, reduce my power. And I'm going to tune up here. The frequency appears to be open. We're going to go switch over to CW mode. I have my uh, band filter on, and we're going to tune up. So I got 1.21 SWR with that uh, NFED half wave wire. I'm going to send out a test. And I do make a couple of mistakes with my CW uh, work here. Uh, it's just operator error. It happens. Question mark. That should have been QRL and then a question mark, but it's just QR and a question mark. I'll do it the correct way right now. It's QRL and a question mark. I'm not hearing anybody responding. Frequency is not in use. Test, 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 
from W3DDS test test W3 DDS repeat the call sign and test and test again and what we're going to do now is uh, I always use reverse beacon network let's take a look and uh, oh, see what reverse beacon network says and we uh, had one spotter here it doesn't mean the signal didn't go elsewhere or get out further it just means that there was one skimmer online at the time uh, and let's see uh, they copied me at 18 words per minute I had a signal report of six decibels which is excellent I was putting out 100 watts or no was it 100 watts uh, I believe it was 100 watts um, I'll have to check that uh, and it shows the frequency and the station that uh, that I reached so as you can see um, it's if you want to make QSOs if you want to learn CW it's quite I have to tell you it's a lot of fun to to learn CW I learned uh, first of all by learning each of the individual characters pro signs uh, and punctuation numbers numerals uh, and um, I jumped right in I had a, an Elmer that was really good with uh, CW and I jumped right in and started doing conventional CW QSOs you know um, with the regular uh, format uh, but now we have parks on the air the and once you learn your characters I suggest that you get on uh, monitor the parks on the air frequencies and listen to the exchanges because they are cookie cutter exchanges they're very much the same uh, the same format each time uh, same operators and you can learn the individual characters when you're learning CW but it's best to then learn the words learn what a word sounds like like when I was sending the test um, out you know test has that rhythm it sounds like the word test in my ears when I hear that I, I hear te test I don't hear the individual characters so something to consider um, there's a lot of things you can do with amateur radio uh, you'll never run out of things new things to try uh, and this could be one of them and again this is a great way to uh, to get your feet wet uh, with a technician uh, class license and um, and nobody will criticize you uh, for making a mistake or not being as fast as uh, perhaps someone else so let's give it a try and good luck and seven three uh, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching uh, and uh, look forward to uh, hearing your feedback in the comments section. Thank you.